Hi, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the August session of the Special Magistrate uh, for the City of Oviedo. Uh, we have one item on the agenda today. It's a Massey hearing. The case is CE 18-000596 and case CE 18-000597. These are two adjacent lots and the two cases have been consolidated. Respondents are Lewis and uh, Soila Panora uh, in care of William Panora. Uh, the property is uh, 262 and 282 North Central Avenue, Oviedo, Florida, 32765. Two parcel numbers. The first is 10-21-31-506-0000-0060 and 10-21-31-506-0000-0070. The uh, Land Development Code alleged by the city to have been violated is Section 3.4, Development Permits Relating to Clearing, Grading, and Tree Removal Permit. Uh, It's clearing and grading without first obtaining a permit. Uh, Who's going to be presenting this on behalf of the city? Okay, Mr. Orioles, would you state your full name, please, sir? Jim Orioles, Code Enforcement Officer, City of Oviedo. Who's going to be speaking on behalf of uh, Lewis and Salela Panora? Right, would you step forward, please, sir? Your Honor, if I may. Well, uh, let me let, let me swear you both in. I have, I have one more person I'd like to be sworn in, Your Honor. Okay. Um, Mr. Jay Higby, the Development Review Manager for the City of Oviedo. He may be called upon by myself or by yourself to All answer right. questions. All right. Anyone who's going to be speaking, if you would step forward to the microphone. All right. Would you state your full name? And please do speak into the microphone. We're being chastised from the uh, audio booth upstairs for not speaking into the microphone. J. Higby. Again? J. Higby. J. J. A. Y. J. Period. J. Higby. Higby. Spell that. H. I. G. B. E. E. All right. And then Mr. Is this Mr. Panora? State your name, please. William Panora. Who else is speaking? I see another gentleman there. Maybe I can speak a little bit. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Panora. Okay. And all right, would you all raise your right hand? One more. One more. Jose Campuzano. Jose Campuzano. Spell C- that. C A M P U. Z A N O. Okay. C A N B U Z A O. P. P. C A N B U. P or B? P. P. Peter. Okay. Can you pronounce that? Cam Puzo? Cam All right. Would you all raise your right hand? You solemnly affirm the testimony you're about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. All right. We'll start with Mr. Orioles. Right. Good morning, Your Honor. Jim Orioles representing the city in consolidated cases that Your Honor has mentioned, CE 18, 000, 596, and 597. Um, I have 14 pages of evidence to present to Your Honor. All right. You've given a copy to the respondent? The respondent has been given a copy, yes, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. These will be, these 14 pages will be admitted into evidence. All right, sir. Your Honor, uh, as Your Honor knows, and for the record, this is a Massey hearing, so this is not a retrial of a case. A ruling has already been made in this case. I have presented uh, to Your Honor uh, procedural evidence that shows that the property is still owned by the, by the respondent, that they received the no- original notice violation, and they received Your Honor's uh, notice. In fact, they were here at the hearing in June 28th and received the honors, Your Honor's verbal ruling. 
and I have proof and documentation that they received the uh, written notification from me from your honor on June 28th the only issue that I'm going to present today is the fact that uh, on June 28th on, on your honor's order it gave them 30 days to obtain a permit for clearing and grading uh, that 30 days was roughly July the 20th, 28th, or we could say 29th if you wanted to give a day of grace. Um, today, is being, today is August the 23rd, and as of yet, that permit has not been obtained. So they were, they were in noncompliance of Your Honor's order. The last documents in the um, packet I've given Your Honor is the email from Mr. Higby. Uh, it starts at the bottom third of the first page and continues on to the second page, which advised the respondent what they had to do to gain the permit, and which they have not yet done. Uh, it is the city's fear that since the order states the improvements had to be made 60 days after the obtaining of the permit, that um, in dragging their feet, so to speak, they can postpone the expensive improvements that Your Honor had ordered, being the sodding, the seating, and that. I will, I will testify that there has been some silt fence inst installed, <coughs> excuse me, installed, but it has not had a great effect on, on stopping the erosion. I do have secondary evidence if Your Honor would like to see that, but at this point, the only contention that, that we're presenting to Your Honor is that they have not uh, met your order to have the, get the clearing grading permit within the 30-day period. Okay, just one second. I want to look at something here. So there have been no permit applied for at all? It's been applied for, sir, but it has not been. None of the questions, none of the uh, questions that Mr. Higby posed and conditions that they needed to do have been reapplied for. Was it applied for within the 30 days? Yes, sir. Make sure I understand the problem. The problem is that the granting of that permit is conditioned upon them providing certain information, and they've not provided that information. Correct, sir. And that and the information that the city requested is contained in the email. Correct, sir. If, if prior to this, uh, these two lots being cleared, they had applied for a permit, would they have had to uh, supply the same information? It's my understanding that they would, yes, sir. Okay. All right. Anything else, Mr. Oil? No, sir. Uh, well, I do have another couple. Uh, is silt still beginning to uh, erode off the property? Yes, sir, it is. Which which side of the have, property is the worst? I have I have secondary evidence I can present, Your Honor. If you yeah, I'd like to see that. I have eight pages, if I may, Your Honor. Yes, you may. These will be received as evidence. The first picture, Your Honor, um, it shows in a uh, cavern, canyon, whatever you want to call it, 
of, of erosion that's happening from the hard rains. The second picture is a little closer. Do we know which, which side of the property This is, is on the Franklin Street side. This is really the only side I can get pictures of um, without trespassing. Okay. That's on the, that's on the Franklin Street side. Um, the second picture is, is the, the same area, just a little closer. The third picture shows where the sill fence is failing uh, and the silt is going over the top of the, of the fence. The fourth picture shows where the corner of the silt fence is, is breaking down and the silt is going to go over the fence. The fifth picture is another shot of the, of the canyons that are eroding towards Franklin Street. The sixth, the last photograph is you can see the where the sill fence has failed, and it's, I know it's a little blurry, but behind it in the reeds, you can see where the silt is getting into the, into the weeded area, into the wetland area. The last, the last two pictures really are, are inconsequential at this point. They're just what the site looked like before it was cleared and graded. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, who wants to speak on behalf of the Panoras? This is William Panora, correct? Yes. All right, what do you have to present, Mr. Panora? Good morning, good morning. Um, Again, speak into the microphone, please. Okay. You can raise it up if it'll make it easier. Good morning. Um, we, we, we have the email. We looked at it. Um, the information that is needed, we are in the process. We actually have it today, the information that is needed to uh, proceed with the permit. Um, the issue with that was it just takes time. Um, what the specifics that they were asking for cannot be done in a day. It just took time for the engineer to go out and the surveyor to check the grading and... But we have it today. Uh, we can show you if you would like. Okay. You have everything that there was requested, do you think? Yeah. The first thing that uh, let's take them one at a time is ask for a survey that can be scaled. Do you, do you have that survey? Yes, is this the survey? That's uh, June 12, 2018. All right. What else? The next thing was the uh, identify the limits of grading on the survey. Okay. Uh, next, provide information from the St. John's Water Management District. Wetland restoration plan. We're not. We don't. You're not in. They're not in a wet wetlands, are they, Mr. Orioles? If I may, Your Honor, um, the presenting the plans at this hearing uh, to satisfy your honor, may satisfy Your Honor, but it may not satisfy Mr. Higby as he and his staff will take need appropriate time to go over the, the submittal. Um, oh, I understand that, yes. I, I'm, I, I just, for, just for the record. Sure. Um, I'm just not, uh, at this point, I'm not able to answer that question. I don't know if Mr. Higby is or not. Okay. Well, the reason I ask that, Mr. Oyo says, if a wetland is present and has been or would be impacted, provide a wetlands restoration plan. So I'm trying to determine whether a wetland restoration plan is going to be provided for this. Mr. Higby? So the reason the wetland... Raise the, uh, the microphone up, please. The You're reason talking. the wetland information was in the email, 
is because the survey submitted with the original application shows a wetland delineation line toward the rear of the site on the lots. Uh, we normally receive uh, in that kind of situation uh, some kind of uh, correspondence either from the St. John's Water Management District or FDEP, depending on who has jurisdiction, um, agreeing that that is where the wetland is. The mere um, wording wetland delineation line on the survey is not really enough information. Okay. Uh, tree removal information. Uh, uh, what's the no tree removal information was supplied with the permit application. Since all the trees are gone, that's going to be a tough one, I guess. How, what do you need there, Mr. Higby? Well, there was uh, some information I put in that email because I thought about that issue. Of, of course, uh, ideally, that's what we would expect because it's supposed to happen before the sure. trees are removed, right? So I put some wording in there later in, under the um, tree restoration plan part of it that talked about an alternative restoration plan that would be acceptable to the city. Um, normally, you know what trees are being removed, and the restoration is determined by the Land Development Code, and then that tree restoration plan will depict that. Since we don't know what's been removed, we're going to have to come up with some kind of alternative tree resp restoration plan. For instance, a method could be to survey what's left on the site and extrapolate from there what should be put on the rest of the site that was disturbed, or there could be some other negotiating that would occur, but we need something. Uh, I don't know if you received the aerial photograph uh, that Mr. Orioles was talking about earlier, but. Uh, it demonstrates there were trees on that portion of the site in the past. Yes. Okay. All right. Mr. Penora, what else do you have to offer? If I could add to that, um, I remember... I'm going to give this back to you, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I remember from our last meeting, um, there, there are no trees there right now, but I remember from our last meeting, uh, stating that those trees were um, not, um, I can't think of the word right now, but they, they were not um, protected protected trees or nothing like that. Uh, I, I don't know if you remember, sir, but they were saying it, it was just miscellaneous, random plants and trees, mm -hmm. nothing precise that, that was needed to be protected. Some okay. Do you, is it the intent of the Panoras to quickly file this permit and to get the get the the final permit and get the work done? Our intent is to get the work done, which we started with with the fence. Um, I see today. Uh, we, you know, we we don't live five minutes away from here, so we can't check on it every day. But I I. On the photos, I did see that it, it has dropped. We will be back to secure it again. Um, our intent is to just move forward. We, we want to do this permit. We want to uh, eventually create um, a plaza and, and have everybody on the same page. Okay. Okay, anyone else want to be heard? <clears throat> this is the information we're going to send um, today. Okay. Well, okay. and, you, and you it, understand, of course, it may or may not meet all the city's requirements. Of course. You're going to have to work closely to get them what it, they need. Exactly. Right. From, from my understanding, this is what they need. But we, we will continue to move forward. All right. All right. Mr. Orioles. Yes, sir. I would just like to point out that the uh, original order that Your Honor had written called for the work to be completed within 60 days of the permit had the permit been uh, been timely submitted in its entirety the property should have been completed next week and at this time as your honor can see the property is, is deteriorating I think badly and a every day that we get these torrential rains it's going to be just that much worse and I believe that that the uh, respondent needs to have a little fire lit under them to get this done as quicker than has been in the past that seems to have been very little uh, urgency 
to get the uh, complete job done. All right. Anything else? Um, I don't agree. I, 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 we have been there many a times. We, we have seated. I got some photos here. If, yes. Here's some photos that we took. It has been seated. This is the silt fence that you requested. This is, again, flourishing. No, this is just random. And we're actually having to cut the grass because the grass is getting long. All right, do you want to see these, Mr. Oils? I, I agree that we can do more, and we will do more. But um, we just need to, you know, the energy being spent on, on these things take away the time that we could be there. All right. Yes, sir. These photographs do show some, some items that you've been seated. However, I'd like to point out that that's the same area that Your Honor had said we needed to be sodded, not seated. And in the final... Uh, grading of this property, all of that had, all that property has been seeded may be destroyed. It may that may have to be removed. That's that's areas that Your Honor had said had needed to be sodded. The top of the property is where Your Honor said needed to be seeded. I really can't tell if that's weeds or, or, or grass seed, but um, again it's it's the it's the rear of the property, the wetland area, it's the it's the, it's the Franklin Avenue side where the erosion damage is and that was uh, property that Your Honor had ordered to be sodded, not seeded. Okay. All right. Anything else? Um, yes. We're ready to take care of the erosion area. We, we just want to get the permit first so we can go full throttle on, on actually taking care of this. Have you actually lined up people to do this, the sod work after the permit is obtained? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've, we've talked. We've, we've met with some people. I mean, well, right now, it, there is a 10-week delay. If you order sod today, you cannot get sod for 10 weeks. It, it's bad. Sod situation is very bad. Really? So have you, have you contacted someone about buying sod? No. We contacted about laying it, but okay. not buying it. I, new information to me. So you've not lined up anyone to do the work right now? To do the work, yes, but not... Okay. To buy, we we have not. I, All right. I was under the assumption we could just All right. go buy some. All right. Anything else you want to ask? All right. I mean, you, you may sit down unless you have something else. Well, I would first point out that uh, th there's no question that, but that the respondent has not complied with my June 28 order. Uh, were I to strictly apply the provisions of that order, I would now be imposing on uh, the respondents. Um, I haven't calculated the number of days, but $50 a day on July 28, well, that's roughly, well, I guess we're talking about roughly 30 days. So we'll be looking at 30 times 50, about a $1,500 fine. Uh, I'm going to give you an extension of time, but you need to understand that right now today, it's only because I'm giving you a continuance that I'm not imposing a $1,500 fine on you. And that fine would continue to accrue. I'm going to give you an additional uh, uh, let me 
get a calendar out here. By September 13th, you must have submitted to the city all the information they have requested. Within 30 days of September 13, by midnight of October 18th, You must have completed all the work that I outlined in my order of June 28th. I'll be issuing a new order. Uh, if you miss either of those deadlines, I'm going to impose fines. So uh, I guess the only unknown of that, if they submit Mr. Oyles, all the information you've requested by September 13th, how quickly will it take to get that, uh, the permit issued? That, that's in the authority of Mr. Higby, sir. Our objective for this type of permit, if all of the material is complete and accurate, would be to turn it around in two weeks or less. All right, well, well let, let, let's do it this way then. The, within 30 days, of the city's issuing a permit, all the work must be completed. That still allows, sir, if I may, for the respondent not to submit all the completed information, and that date, that date would con continue to go no, toward, no. towards Christmas. No, no, my order says that by September 13th, they must have submitted all information that the city requires. Okay. If they have not, then they're in violation. All right, sir. Thank you. Uh, so, so do you understand that? By September, midnight of September 13th, you must have put in the city's hands everything they require in order to issue you a permit. Once they issue you that permit, you have 30 days from that date to complete all work. Now that means that you need to get busy and talk to people uh, to do the work. And sod is going to be a particular problem. You're probably not going to need the, the same grade of sod that someone would need for their lawn, but you're going to need sod, uh, e even if it contains little weeds, I guess. Uh, but right now, if I were to order sod for my lawn that's free of weeds, it would take me 10 weeks. I know because we talked to the landscaper this week. So uh, you need to get busy on that. And I'm not suggesting you need top grade sod, but you need sod that's going to stabilize that, that property. Uh, all right, do you have any questions about what I'm, what I'm going to be ordering? Okay, September 13th and then 30 days after the permit's issued. Any questions? Because there will be no further extensions. I see Mr. Okay. All right. Anything else to come before special magistrate today? All right. Then we are adjourned.